Uh, they talked a lot. They talked a lot about how they used to use a tight end and how they want to use it here. And uh, I saw bits and pieces of it last year. They just didn't have very many tight ends uh, to work with uh, due to injuries. Last year they had a rough year for injuries. Um, so they talked a lot about it, and uh, I'm, I'm fired up to see what we do this year. Do you feel like you and, and Daniel you know, come in and, and can upgrade that spot and make it a weapon like they want it to be? Uh, I think all the guys are doing a great job right now of upgrading themselves, and definitely uh, me and Daniel are hoping to you know help add on to the position. We got some guys back from injury last year. Uh, especially uh, Alex Ellis and you know Brennan Downs and AJ are all fully healthy now, and uh, so we're we're doing a great job in the weight room and on the field to, to bring bring the position back. So during that recruiting process, did they show you like what they've done for tight end in Cincinnati? Like how much did they kind of go into that? Definitely, they had a lot of film on what they did uh, with with Kelsey back at Cincinnati and uh, a lot of things we liked. So I love the way they use the tight end position, and like I said, I hope I hope that we can. You know, provide the assets for them to do that again. How much of is the game slowing down for you right now for each practice? An incredible amount, uh, opposed to, to the spring. You know, we just learned everything in the spring. It was tough to tough to learn all the reads and uh, defensive fronts on the fly. So now that we've had uh, a lot of time since then, uh, it's it, the game's coming to me a lot easier, and I can play a lot faster. Has the adjustment been about what you expected? Have you done a little better than you might have anticipated? Has it been slower? Or just what's, what's uh, it, yeah, it's been about what I what I anticipated. Um, it's a lot easier now. Like I said, that we've gone through spring ball. Uh, prior to that, it was a little harder than I, than I anticipated mentally. Uh, but I, everything's going great right now. When, when your coach, you know, give you praise after practice, you know, how much does that push you to Follow that up with another good practice the next day. Uh, a lot, because uh, you know Coach Jones is a, is a very demanding coach and wants wants the best out of everybody every practice. So I'm just trying to you know bust my butt to to earn a spot and to play my role as a as a tight end on this team. So when he acknowledges me after practice, it gives me you know an extra an extra burst to go out there and just do it again. Being able to come in with a guy like Daniel, do you feel like? You know, that pushes you, you know, you see him make a play, it makes you want to make one too. You guys kind of yeah, feed off each other? Definitely. I think, like I said, as a collective tight end group, we all feed off of each other. When uh, when, when someone makes a big play, you know, we're there, we're the first ones there to tell them a good job, but that also, you know, makes us want to make another big play and uh, just bring, you know, not, I guess pride to our, our position. How much does it help having another freshman that you can go through and say, uh, it helps. It helps a lot, you know, because we're all, we're all going through the same struggles, and uh, we, hand, we both of us handle them in different ways. But uh, it's it's nice to uh, come come together and you know talk about what's what's going on and go through this together. Did y'all communicate much during the two of you communicate much during the recruiting process? Oh, uh, we yeah, we did a little bit. Uh, a lot a lot of the commits, you know, we talked a lot, and uh, Daniel and I definitely talked about what we wanted to do and what as a tight as tight ends here and. So yeah, we, we communicated quite a bit. There was no hesitance about going someplace that already did. No, no. I think I think we knew that you know twelve. They talked about twelve personnel being a, being a very viable option. So we talked about what we could do, and you know we always talked about being the uh, uh, I guess pre prison Hernandez and Gronkowski combo. So uh, we talked about that. So uh, yeah, we definitely weren't weren't scared to come with two of us being in the same recruiting class. We. We were happy about it. Are you probably the longest pass catcher as a blocker? Or just how you... uh, I, I really can't tell right now. There's some days where I do better at one than the other, but uh, I'm just trying to round my game off and be able to do both. Are you seeing a lot of 12 personnel just this camp? Yeah, we have seen quite a bit of 12, especially now that it's progressing and the coaches have seen what we've been able to do out of 12 personnel. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's progressively getting more, more and more 12 personnel. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, guys.